Today we'll visit a spot dear to my heart, a true happy place. And then we'll learn some magic. Let's go! Okay, so I went to the uh, library today with the intent of checking out a magic book or two and learning some tricks to share with you guys. For the most part, I'm right on track, but along the way, I was inspired to share something else. See, I recently moved, and I, I had to get a new card to check out some books. And in doing so, the librarian suggested that I take a look at some of their online options. Uh, so I did that, and wow, let me tell you, there are some incredible resources out there. Uh, for example, here, take a look. This is the... Hoopla service. This is one of many virtual or online libraries that allow you to digitally borrow ebooks, audiobooks, and even movies. So, wow, I felt like a kid in a candy store browsing their titles. Okay, so I decided it might be fun to check out an online book and learn something from there. Here we go. This is Abbott's. Encyclopedia of Rope Magic, compiled by Stuart James. This book is a classic. You'll discover 200 pages of rope magic, knots, tricks, puzzles, and more. So we're going to look at a couple items from the rope knot section, the Chafalo knot and the magic shoelace. And speaking from my professional performing experience, I found both of these items will fit well in just about any rope sequence. So, I'll demonstrate each of these items and briefly describe them. Should be enough to get you started, and then if you want more or more precise info, well, just go check out the book. Okay, let's start with the Chafalo Knot. Uh, I should mention this is not really magic, but it did take me a while to learn, so uh, I have to show it to somebody. Blame it on some bad job counseling I had back in the 80s. They told me to find skills no one else had, and then they didn't tell me what to do with it. For your entertainment pleasure. I'll do this in slow motion. Whew. Ooh, pixie dust. Oof. Okay, so that's the Chafalo knot, which is not a knot. But I digress. Let me explain it for you. Uh, piece of rope about as, far, as big as your arm's stretch. It's a good size to use. A little bit sticks out the top of each one and we begin the knot sequence with a simple overhand knot like you're tying your shoes. The right end goes over the left. You do that shoelace 101 tie and then you repeat it but this time the left end goes over the right under and through. So we have like two, two shoelace 101 knots. It's technical description. Okay, I'm making this up as I go, folks. Bear with me. The, the end on the right hand now comes towards you, and then through the bottom loop, towards the audience, you'll take the end from the bottom and then put it through the loop in the top. It comes through and, again, towards the audience. And that will leave you with what appears to be a jumbled up rope. The, the little shaky poo, and it goes away. I would like to mention that when I, after I do the Shafalo knot vanish, I like to make the knot reappear with a kind of a visual flash knot. Uh, we're not going to describe this today. You'll find it in the Encyclopedia of Rope Tricks. Get digging. Okay, here's something that's not only entertaining and educating, but it's also helpful. For your consideration, I offer the world's fastest shoelace. It's a big time saver in the morning, except for when those ends go through the loops, then you end up with a, a knot. But if you know a little magic, that knot is not a problem. Okay, the magic shoelace is something I've been doing since I was a kid, so we're talking like 20 or 30 years. I can vouch for its effectiveness. And it's easy to do. The details might be a little challenging to pick up, but I'll try and get you started and check out the book. All right, so we're going to use uh, lobster hands, like thumb lobsters. The hands start toward yourself, 
and you want to rest the rope on the middle, about 12 inches there between the hands, with the thumbs on top. So that's our opening grip. The scissor fingers, the first and second fingers of each hand will do most of the work here. You bring the hands towards each other, the right comes toward your body, the left hand goes out. So they go towards each other and then pass each other. And it's at that point that your scissor fingers will grab the rope that's below the other fingers. I hope I'm not getting too technical here. So let's see if we get it from this side, it might be better. You come towards each other, the scissor fingers grab the rope that's below each finger. So now the scissors have a piece in each hand. If you release your thumbs and separate the hands, you'll now made your magic shoelace. And take note that with a little bit of practice, this can be done super quick. To make the vanishing knot sequence, your forefinger and thumb hold open each end of the lace of the center, reach through the bottom, pull the ends up, and you'll now have what appears to be a more jumbled knot, but in fact you have a knot that will disappear with just a little bit of, of uh, tension. And that's the magic shoelace. Okay, so there's lots more where that came from, and maybe we'll examine some of that in a future video. For the time being, I would like to mention that I know the ropes can be challenging to learn from the printed page, so I would like to uh, recommend a video resource, and probably the best one is Daryl's Expert Rope Magic uh, Made Easy, where Daryl literally brings the Abbott's Encyclopedia to life, three volumes, hours and hours of rope material, including Daryl's 15-minute uh, routine, which can be done on stage for thousands or close up for one. Wonderful stuff. Check the description below for that. And I'll also put links to the Hoopla online library service that I've used and uh, some links to anything else that you might find useful. Uh, check it out in the description it's below. Link to what? Oh, and yo, I should mention that these library visits will be a reoccurring part of this channel. If you have any thoughts on the subject, please drop me a line in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, take a second and Smash that like button, maybe subscribe, and you can hit that bell notification so you won't miss the next video. That's all for now. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.